the celebrity boxing era is still very much alive and well, with KSI further proving that this past weekend by defeating two opponents in one night. While that was a feat of its own, there were also a lot of other stories and possible future matchups revealed at the end. One of the most highly anticipated matchups is the potential fight between YouTube star Logan Paul and MMA pro fighter Dylan Donnies. Here's everything we know so far. Starting off with a double whammy. KSI won two fights on one night as he stopped first Swarms and then Luis Pineda at the O2 in London. KSI was returning to the ring almost three years after his last outing, a points win over Logan Paul in their professional rematch in Los Angeles. He had been due to fight Alex Wasabi, who beat KSI's brother Deji earlier this year, but the American pulled out through injury two weeks ago. He was replaced by two opponents after a public outcry about the quality of Swarms, who'd never laced up a pair of gloves before taking the call, and KSI was able to stop both opponents to cap off a successful night of influencer boxing, with the first win in four attempts for KSI's brother Deji, a stunning KO from Salt Pappy, and a boxing clinic from Dean the Great. Meanwhile, the next event is set to bring even more celebrity matchups. KSI's boxing promotion Misfits Boxing, or MF Boxing, has announced a second event following the positive reception of the first on August 27th. We've seen plenty of rivalries emerge from this celebrity boxing genre since it first took off, and many more will likely develop as we carry on down this road. One of the biggest, though, and one of the strongest, has been the constant back and forth between Logan Paul and Dylan Donnies. Paul is best known for his YouTube work and has also ventured into boxing before, taking part in a two-fight series with KSI before an exhibition showdown with Floyd Mayweather. Donnie's, meanwhile, is a big name in the world of jiu-jitsu, but hasn't actually competed in MMA for over three years. The pair haven't made a secret of their hatred for one another, and after KSI suggested a prime card in January, both individuals seemed to agree to a fight. Paul tweeted out saying he'd join the event as long as I get to f at Dylan Donnie's, to which the MMA star replied, I'm done talking. I'm in 100%. Let's fuck this. Paul hasn't fought in the boxing ring since lasting the distance with ring legend Floyd Mayweather last June in a hugely successful exhibition bout. He recently signed a lucrative new deal with wrestling promotion WWE after showing a huge amount of potential in the entertainment sector, which threatened to derail his chances of making a ring return. However, Paul confirmed he still planned to make another boxing appearance and was present at KSI's double victory over Swarms and Luis Alcaraz Pineda at London's O2 Arena, where he reiterated his desire. Up next, Paul and Donnie's have had quite the rivalry. Donnie's held a huge rivalry with Paul's brother Jake for several years, where he continuously called out the YouTube star, which led to Jake deciding to commit an infamous drive-by water attack on his rival, which went viral. Despite their continuous verbal barbs, a fight between the pair failed to materialize despite their heated rivalry frequently escalating. Now Paul is planning his ring return on a huge platform with streaming service DAZN, who streamed KSI's most recent fights this weekend, and the 27-year-old believes victory over Donnie's could see him beat his famous sibling to a shot at UFC star McGregor in a crossover mega fight. On the other hand, Paul seems to be busy with his WWE career. Paul will be working with WWE for the remainder of this year and for the entirety of 2023, so it seems like he signed an 18-month deal with the company. The report also notes that Logan was at WWE HQ to sign his deal on Wednesday of this week, with the official announcement being made the following day. With the over 23 million subscribers on YouTube and over 23 million followers on Instagram, Logan clearly has a massive following. So so his signing is a huge coup for WWE. Logan took several photos at WWE HQ to show off that he'd signed with the company, posing with both Triple H and Stephanie McMahon for the shots. Noticeably absent from the photos was Vince McMahon, who stepped down as WWE CEO and chairman last month while he's investigated. As of right now, there's no exact word on what WWE is going to do with Logan, but rumors suggest he's going to be brought in as a face to go one-on-one -on -one with The Miz at SummerSlam. However, The Miz claimed that the pair are going to tag together at these shows once again, so perhaps WWE has something different in mind for their newest signing this month. On the other hand, this wasn't the only fight that's been teased for the January undercards. Following KSI's second fight of the night, Gideon took to Twitter, revealing he wants to touch gloves with Joe Weller. He followed up by tagging business partner Logan Paul, asking if he's down for a prime hydration squad card in January. Of course, the elder Paul brother is up for the challenge as long as he gets to f Dylan Donnie's, who he's been eyeing up a fight with for quite some time now. Weller's still yet to respond to the callout. However, Gideon already tweeted that he'll see his fans in January, so the ball could already be rolling to get a fight set up between the two. The first and last time we saw Joe Weller putting on the gloves was in February 2018, when he faced KSI in the first ever influencer boxing event. It'll be almost five years since the YouTube boxing pioneer has stepped in the ring if the fight goes ahead. Meanwhile, in other boxing-related news, first up, Jessica McCaskill is losing weight for her junior welterweight fight against Chantel Cameron. Jessica McCaskill, the undisputed welterweight champion, is dropping down in weight for at least one fight to try to 
to win titles in another weight class when she faces WBC and IBF junior welterweight champion Chantal Cameron on November 5th in Abu Dhabi. Matchroom Boxing announced the fight Wednesday. The fight, which will take place at Etihad Arena, is one McCaskill had talked about following her last win over Alma Ibarra in June, the third defense of her undisputed welterweight titles. McCaskill has won seven straight fights, including her last two by stoppage. Her last loss came to undisputed lightweight champion Katie Taylor in 2017, the only pro fight McCaskill has had outside the United States. McCaskill, 37, has fought for world titles, most of the time holding them in her last eight fights. The 31-year-old Cameron has held the WBC title since 2020 and the IBF title since last year. She last fought in May, winning a unanimous decision over Victoria Bustos in London, the third defense of her WBC title and first of her IBF crown. Up next, Yanabek Alam Kanuli claims the vacated WBO middleweight title from Demetrius Andrade. Demetrius Andrade vacated his WBO middleweight title and in his place, interim title holder Yanabek Alam Kanuli was elevated to champion, Top Rank announced Tuesday. Alam Kanuli's first title defense is slated for a Top Rank boxing on ESPN show in November against an opponent to be determined. Andrade owed Alam Kanuli a title shot, but instead will move up to 168 pounds where he could face Zach Parker in a rescheduled bout. The fight was slated for May 21st in England before Andrade withdrew with a shoulder injury. The 29-year-old from Kazakhstan scored stoppage victories over former champion Hassan Adam and Rob Brandt last year. He's coming off a second-round KO of Danny Dignam in May. And lastly, Marv Nation wins a $2.4 million bid for the Regis Progray vs. Jose Zapata WBC Junior Welterweight title match. The vacant WBC Junior Welterweight title fight between Regis Progray and Jose Zapata was won by upstart promotional company Marv Nation on Tuesday with a commitment of $2.4 million. TGB Promotions on behalf of PBC was the other bidder at $1.2 million. The fighters will split the $2.4 million evenly. No broadcast plans have been finalized as of yet. Progray has scored knockouts of three fringe contenders since a majority decision defeat to Josh Taylor in a 2019 unification bout. Fighting out of Houston, the former champion is ESPN's number four junior welterweight and Zapata's number five. They'll vie for one of the three titles Taylor vacated while he pursues a November 26th match with Jack Catterall. Zapata is winless in two previous title challengers, but both defeats were far from clean. A 2015 lightweight fight against Terry Flanagan ended when he dislocated his left shoulder and retired on his stool following round two. Since the setback, Zapata has impressed with the decision over Jose Pedraza and most notably a brutal KO of Ivan Baranchek in ESPN's 2020 Fight of the Year. The 33-year-old from Southern California scored a first-round TKO of Josu Vargas in October. Ramirez, a former unified champion, will be the mandatory challenger for the winner after he passed up on the title rematch with Zapata to focus on his October wedding. That's a wrap for this video. Who do you think is going to win the Logan Paul vs. Dylan Donnie's fight? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.